Hello. Thank you, all, thank you all for joining NLP Summit. Uh, my name is Abhinay Krishna Vallala, a researcher at Heidelberg University. It revolves around integrating AI into medical imaging, particularly utilizing multimodal large language models. Over the past few months, I've been focused on developing a novel approach for automating radiology report generation. Today, I'm excited to share the insights and findings of this research. We are a research group in the Department of Radiology and Nuclear Medicine in the University Hospital Mannheim at Heidelberg University. Our director, Professor Schoenberg, and our group leader, Professor Flourish, are senior researchers of our department. Our team has been focusing on providing AI-based solutions in radiology and have numerous publications describing the use cases. In the recent years, there has been a significant increase in the number of CT procedures particularly during on-call hours, leading to a growing workload of, for the radiologists. This surge has contributed to longer wait times, delays, examination, and higher rate of burnout among the professionals in the field. Artificial intelligence has shown great potential in addressing these challenges by integrating into medical imaging workflows. Uh, deep learning algorithms have begun to outperform the traditional manual methods, opening up new possibilities for the research, and exploration. Uh, since 2014, when deep learning libraries started making analysis easier, there has been increase in the number of publications. Out of all, medical imaging had higher effect due to the availability of data and extensive advancements in the computer vision. As you can see from the graph, uh, medical imaging had higher publications than any other department combined. The introduction of transformers in 2017 has revolutionized natural language processing. Open source LLMs now enable efficient customization and fine tuning. In medical imaging, multimodal large language models are starting to play a crucial role in understanding the patient better and provide effective diagnosis. Yeah. Why LLMs in radiology? LLMs can analyze medical images and generate detailed radiology reports, reducing manual effort and time spent by the radiologists. LLMs can aid in research by analyzing large data sets of medical images and text, uncovering the patterns and generating hypotheses. While convolution neural networks have been performing well in the various vision tasks, vision transformers uh, are providing to be more superior in some areas. Several models, including transunits, wind transformers, mformers, uh, VIT Med and SecFormers have become popular in the open source communities and are proving to be much efficient than convolution neural networks. So I'd like to introduce you to the proposed methods uh, to efficiently generate text reports from medical images. We have images and the reports as input. We train multiple vision transformers uh, to extract encodings. The models are mainly uh, classifiers we are also looking at uh, including segmentations and object detection, object localization, and so on. Uh, the reports are then processed through an LLM where we extract the final embeddings from the LLM. And these embeddings will then process into a decoder-only transformer architecture uh, where we also concatenate the encodings from the vision model uh, in the later stage of in the latest architecture. Uh, we'll process this step for n times where n is hyperparameter. We then process the combined encodings to a linear block and to a softmax layer to get the reports as an output. So as a part of proposal, we have tested out large language model, uh, how a large language model could the medical text if used as a standalone model. Uh, this experiment helped us to understand the effectiveness of using uh, large language models, as well as making several changes in our final proposal. Uh, why Llama 3? Llama 3 is one of the best open sourced model that we have right now. Uh, the million parameter model offers robust solutions with a context window size of a uh, thousand times. The recent release of Llama 3.1, I think uh, in the later July to the, for 2024, with a four, 405 billion parameters provides even greater capabilities. But overall, uh, Llama, 3, 8, uh, Llama 3 8 billion instruct model has already uh, proven to be 
much efficient in several benchmarks. Even it has surpassed GPT and GPT-4 as well. So, of course, training large language model from scratch with 8 billion parameters is a tedious task. Fine tuning is much more efficient as well as effective. The process of fine tuning involves data pre processing, quantization, parameter efficient fine tuning, PEFT, and model training. We'll discuss each process in detail in the next slides. Uh, before we look into the details of the fine tuning process, I'll uh, give you an overview of the radiologist report structure. We have two sections in the report. One, radiologist impressions, which is a summary of the findings with minimal text of about uh, 500 to 1,000 tokens. Then we have radiologist report, which is analysis of the 3D image with all the possible findings and relevant recommendations. This could be between 1,000 to 5,000 tokens on average. Uh, for could be more Just on generating uh, the detailed report from the radiologist impressions. There are a few other studies where uh, uh, where uh, researchers have tried to generate the summary of the report from the detailed report. Uh, we are try we have tried the other way around because we we wanted to make sure uh, we don't want to load overload our whole architecture. So as a first step. Uh, is to find is as a first step of fine tuning is to process the data. Uh, Llama is a instruct language model. It works efficiently when the input text is in a relevant format. Alpaca for LLMs is exclusively designed for Llama model. It enables instruction based learning, which enhances the flexibility and improves training efficiency as well as model performance. Uh, here is a sample of Llama Alpaca prompt. So we have a, a small introduction about what we wanted to do uh, in this case, and then we, we go into the instruction and the response. So in, in, in our case, the instruction is the radiologist impression, and the response is the detailed report. So Alpaca format efficient, efficiently lets LLM know to use the instruction as an input and learn the response. Uh, the next step is quantization. Quantization is a key technique of optimizing large language models. By reducing the precision of the numerical values, we can significantly decrease the model size, resulting to a faster inference times and lower training cost without a substantial loss in the performance. It efficiently compresses the model, making it lighter, accelerates the processing speed, which is crucial for real-time applications, lower power consumption, making, it, making the process more sustainable, However, it is important to note that quantization involves a trade-off. Reducing, re reducing precision may lead to slight decrease in accuracy. But however, uh, it still remains a, a highly effective method for enhancing model performance in practical scenarios. The next step uh, is to use parameter-efficient fine-tuning. Uh, in short, PEFT is an approach designed to optimize the fine-tuning of large language models by updating only a minimal subset of model parameters. This makes the process more efficient and cost-effective. Uh, it also minimizes the computational resources needed for, for fine-tuning. It also speeds up in process of tailoring uh, the model to a specific task, which makes it adaptable across various model architectures and applications. One of those techniques is LoRa, which will adaption. This technique enhances the model efficiency by using LoRa matrices into the matrix during the fine tuning. Let me explain how LoRa works. By reducing the number of train trainable parameters. Only these low rank matrices, only these decomposed low rank matrices are trained while the original model weights remain frozen. LoRa is particularly useful in maintaining the model performance while significantly reducing the computational burden on fine tuning. It reduces the number of trainable parameters while preserving the model capacity. So using all the discussed methods, we have uh, fine-tuned Llama 3. Uh, I'd like to show you the capacity of, our, of one of our machines to give you an idea of uh, how these techniques could make an LLM lighter, that it can be trained on a single GPU with minimal to decent configuration. We have used unsloth fast LLM 4-bit quantized Llama 3 model. 
uh, Unsloth provides support for many other uh, four-bit quantized models as well. Uh, we chose maximum sequence length as uh, 5, 5K tokens, as on average, our reports have less than uh, 5,000 tokens. We trained the model using RTX 5000 GPU uh, for 2000 epochs. We used supervised fine-tuning trainer from Hugging Face library, as it supports the use of LoRa configuration and weight decay hyperparameter of our optimizer. Uh, we have used categorical cross entropy as our base loss function, and we have also calculated uh, Blue score, which is bilingual evolution under uh, understudy. Uh, MW optimizer as weight decay, which is L2 regularization, is directly applied on the gradients to interfere with the adaptive learning, with the adaptive learning rate. After 2000 epochs, uh, we have achieved a training loss for 0 0.072 and a validation loss of uh, 1.36. Uh, the average blue score the training data was 0 0.69 and on the validation data, it was, it was 0 0.33, which is not a bad metric as the blue only compares if the word appeared in the generation or not. This is the reason why we are also looking at the human, human evaluation with the senior radiologist at the hospital. Uh, as an overview, uh, the advantages of uh, uh, using this this architecture is it it is efficient in fine tuning uh, a large language model on a single GPU. It has high quality generations. With, uh, it has high quality as well as reliable report generations. The model supports quantization, enables faster inference, and uh, reduced training cost. We have also experienced some of the challenges we. This way, uh, especially with Unsloth, uh, the, the customizable options are in this current implementation. Uh, the four bit quantization, but may not match the performance of higher bit quantization models. Uh, in the recent times, we have noticed that Lama Index are providing better support for Lama 3. So, overall, uh, we have processed the reports in alpaca format uh quantized model on slot uh, we use the configured lora we have configured lora and you uh, supervised fine uh, in the end to fine tune the large language model using three thank you all for for joining me today